Well, good morning. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's still morning. Yeah, about 11.28. And uh, I have a brief, brief message this morning, but it's great. We don't have a service right now, but I have something burning on my heart. Uh, the accursed thing. The accursed thing. Yeah. The accursed thing. Let's look at Joshua chapter 7, chapter 8. Now the uh, the great victory over Jericho, wow, what a victory. The walls came tumbling down and it was flat ground. And the uh, Israel, they just walked in, they were they were told to kill everybody and destroy everything. Don't take any anything with them. What a victory. The first great victory after those children of Israel that wandered in the desert for 40 years. Now here they are in the promised land. Victory just accomplished. First great victory. Let's look at chapter 7 verse 1. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. There are accursed things that can happen. And they happen in your life and in my life. What's the accursed thing in your life or accursed things? Multiple, possibly. God hates the accursed thing. Whether it was the sin of Achan or the sin of Gabriel Varga, or put your name in that, or your accursed thing. But the children, the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. It said the children of Israel, but in reality, in reality, there wasn't a bunch of people. It was just one person that affected many. Let's go on in Joshua chapter 7. For Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, and of the tribe of Judah, took of the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. See, God is, he's very angry at the accursed thing, whether it be the accursed thing of one person, of the children of Israel, that affected many there. In fact, 36 died because of it. They didn't die because of their sin. They, they died because of the sin of, of Achan. Let us go on. When Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Bethaven, on the east side of Bethel, and spake unto them, saying, Go up and view the country. And the men went up and viewed Ai. Now, they did that once before. Uh, those ones that had a, uh, a whole generation had to die uh, because they sent out the committee of 12 and they came back, what usually uh, committees come back with, they voted uh, 10 to 2 not to go forward. That's what committees usually do. The unprepared doing the unnecessary, they read the minutes and waste the hours. Give me a man of God to lead. Forget the committees. And Joshua sent men to Jericho, to Ai, and which is beside that. And it says in verse 3, And they returned to Joshua and said unto him, Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai, and make not all the people to labor thither, for they are but a few. We just we just conquered Jericho. The walls fell down and flat down, flat. They didn't find, historically, they've even proved that. They have found nothing there as far as ruined walls but flat ground. We just need a few men. They had forgot all about God. So there went up thither of the people about 3,000 men, and they fled before the men of Ai, and the men of Ai smote them about 30 and 6 men, for they chased them from before the gate even to uh, Shiverim, and smote them in the going down, wherefore the hearts of the people melted and became as water. Oh, when there's disobedience, where there's a rebellion against God, when there's not keeping of the law, and, and you, you have great uh, uh, defeat, uh, you melt and you fear and you tremble. And Joshua rent his clothes and fell to the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord until the eventide. He and the elders of Israel but dust upon their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, 
Wherefore hast thou at all brought this people over Jordan to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites and to destroy us? Would to God we had been content and dwelt on the other side of Jordan. How foolish. Here they were talking so stupid that they wished they were on the other side of Jordan, wandering around in the wilderness where they had just done for 40 years. O oh Lord, what shall I say when Israel turned their backs before their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it and shall environ us round and cut off our name from the earth. What wilt thou do unto that great name? And it, 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 it afraid of getting wiped out. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up. Wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? Israel has sinned. Not said Israel had sinned, but it was just one person. It's just one person. And they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. For they have even taken the accursed thing. The accursed thing. What is your accursed thing? What's the thing that's cursing you? Is it alcohol? What is it? Pride? Arrogance? Lying, steal, I don't know. What's the accursed thing in your life? What is it? Are there many things that are accursed things in your life? And have also stolen and dissembled also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Stole some stuff and hid it. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies because they were accursed. Neither will ye be, uh, neither will I be with you anymore, except ye destroy the accursed thing. We have to root out sin. You have to root out sin. I have to root out sin. Our church has to root out sin. We have to get rid of the accursed things, or Ichabod is written upon us, and we have no power of God, and we have no blessing of God, and we have no victory. Up, oh, sanctify the people. It means separate from the sins of this world. Separate. Sanctify the people and say, Sanctify yourself against tomorrow. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, There is an accursed thing in the midst of thee. What's the accursed thing in the midst of your life? What's the accursed thing in the midst of my life? You say, Oh, I'm goody two-shoes. I do everything just right. You're a liar. You're a self-deceiver. You're a Pharisee. Shut up. Let us go on. There is an accursed thing in the midst of thee, O Israel. Thou canst not stand before thine enemies until ye take away the accursed thing from among you. In the morning, therefore, you shall be brought according to your tribes. It shall be that the, that the tribe which the Lord taketh shall come according to the families thereof. And the family which the Lord shall take uh, shall come by households. And the household which the Lord shall take shall come man by man. Going to examine every, every family. And it shall be that he that is taken with the accursed thing shall be burnt with fire. Whoa! What about you folks that say, oh, God is such a good God? Yes, he is. God is such a loving God? Yes, he is. God won't send anybody to hell? Yes, he will. <laughs> yes, he will. Everybody going to go to heaven because God is love? No, no. God will not deal with the accursed thing. He'll deal with it in a very severe way. And it shall be that he that is taken with the accursed thing shall be burnt with fire and all that he hath because he hath transgressed the covenant of God and because he hath wrought folly in Israel. So Joshua rose up early in the morning and brought Israel by their tribes and the tribe of Judah was taken and he brought the family of Judah and he took the family of, and then he went on family by family and family uh, and then he said, verse 18, And he brought his household man by man, and Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of uh, Zabdi, the son of Zerah, and the tribe of Judah was taken. Listen carefully now. And, you sh and Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God, and make confession with him. Till, uh, tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus and thus have I done. And when I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonian garment, uh, expensive piece of, of, of something to wear, and 200 shekels of silver, 
and a wedge of gold of fifty shekels weight. Then I covered them and took them, uh, and behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent, uh, and the silver under it, a little bit more bulky, hid it under his tent. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran unto the tent, under the tent, and behold, it was hid in his tent, and there's silver under it. And he took them out in the midst of the tent, and brought them into Joshua, and unto all the children of Israel, and laid them out before the Lord. Let's lay our accursed thing before the Lord. Will you root out yours? Will you bring out the accursed, wicked thing of pride? Oh, what a terrible sin, and we, we don't think much of it today. It's what threw Lucifer out of heaven and went from top gun angel to the devil himself. And many angels followed him because of the accursed thing. What's your accursed thing? What is it? Lay it out before the Lord. And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan, the son of Zerah, and the silver and the garment and the wedge of gold and his, and his sons and his daughters and his ox and his asses and his sheep and, and, and his tent and all that he had. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger, wherefore the name of the place is called the Valley of Achar unto this day. Oh my, the accursed thing. Achan and his family were destroyed in everything that pertaineth to him. And 36 men were killed. There was two things there. I believe Achan's sin, of course, was a major thing, but also the pride and vanity to think they could just take 3,000. <clears> that they could, they could just take 3,000 and have those 3,000 take over Ahai, which they didn't, and 36 of them were lost. Oh, Lord, help us turn from the accursed thing. Think about it, dear one. What's the accursed thing in your life? Is it alcohol? Is it some other drug? Is it sex? Is it pride? Is it lying? Is it, I don't know. If you don't know what your accursed thing is, ask God, I'm, I'm, I'm pop. With an honor, search me, O God, and try me, and see uh, the wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. Psalm 139, end of that chapter. The accursed thing. It'll keep you from blessing. It'll keep me from blessing. It'll keep our church from blessing. It'll keep your church from blessing. It will keep our city from blessing. It'll keep our country from blessing. The accursed thing. Oh, how we must turn from it. Lord, bless us. There are people listening to this, viewing this. They have the accursed things in their life that are taking them to hell because they will not acknowledge Christ, repent and turn from their sins. Is the Holy Ghost talking to you today? Turn from the accursed thing, the sins that we all have. Say, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. I have a wicked heart. I do wicked things. I can't save myself. I believe Jesus Christ shed his precious blood on Calvary's cross, and he rose from the grave. Dear Lord, with a sincere heart, I turn from my sins right now, and I call upon the name of the Lord to be saved right now. Oh, I hope you've done it today. Dear Christian, you have done that, and you're saved, but you're backslidden. You have accursed things in your life. Maybe one, maybe two, probably more than one. Most do. Help us to be convicted of the accursed things in our lives as Christians, that we can repent of them and turn from them and have God's blessing and have God's victory and have God's Holy Spirit power on us that many could be saved. Deliver us from the accursed things. I believe you will, Lord, like you did the children of Israel as Joshua led them. Deliver us from the accursed thing.